Chris and John are about to take on a rescue mission unlike anything they've ever had to deal with before. Hey guys, thanks for meeting me here today. No, no problem. problem. How are you today, dear? Pretty good, but I'm in a little bit of a bind. What is that supposed to mean? We have a writer that's bailed on a story, and I need some help, and I need to get this assignment done. Did he withdraw on account of illness? No. Well, I want to do a story on gay bears in the gay community. And I'm looking for two writers, and I thought about you guys. Pardon me? Well, I want you to go out, and I want you to do a story on gay bears. We're not in that type of category. You're very unprofessional. It doesn't really matter. Reporters are good observers, and if you guys are as good as what I've heard you are, then you should be able to go out and do this story, even if you don't know anything about gay bears. That's so... Racist? Be creative, put yourself in as the person that wants to know about gay bears, and go out and do a story that explains what they are. So, so how long do we have to work with here? You have two days. <gasps> what are you, nuts? That's more than most reporters get to write a story for extra. Two days is plenty of time. Hi, I'm with Extra Magazine. I'm looking for anything gay bear related. Yeah, I'm a reporter with Extra Magazine, and I'm looking for some sort of event situation to do with gay bears. Hi, operator. Uh, yeah, I can have gay bears. Hi, yes, I'm looking for something to do with gay bears. Yeah, I can hold. A gay bear? Yeah, like the animal, yeah. A gay bear, but a gay one. A gay bear. Are you serious? Gay bears eat babies? Gay Bear Film Festival? Vermont? We'll be there. Enough of Chris and John? Visit the Deers at www.chrisandjohnonline.com to see pics from their exclusive Tell Us Photo album, weekly podcasts, online blogs, interactive forms, and more. ChrisandJohnOnline.com. Click it. Chris and John arrived in Vermont at the second annual Gay Bear Film Festival, and in order to fit in at the festival, they came prepared with their very own short film. So we made our way to Vermont, and we arrived at the Bear Film Festival, oh. late, of course, and uh, we met two people, Rob and Santa, Hi. who greeted us and welcomed us to the festival. Hi. 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 Welcome to the Vermont Bear Film Festival. Um, so yeah, so we're here to uh, see some films and enter a film into the festival. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Great. Um, do you have your names? Uh, yeah, it's uh, John and Chris. Did you guys pre-register? Oh, wait a minute. Here it is. It says C. John, festival director. C. John. Okay, C. John. Do you know where John is? John? John. <gasps> Hey. Hi. Hi. So nice to see you. You too. Hi, my name is John Scagliotti, and I run the Vermont Bear Film Festival. Well, we're looking forward to having you here. Well, I've been making films myself for about 30 years, and most of the films I've made have been about gay and lesbian history and life. I did a film on the early days of gay life in America called Before Stonewall, and I did one of uh, for the last part of the century called After Stonewall. So I've been involved in documentary filmmaking. And the reason why uh, we did the Bear Festival was because my partner is really into the bear movement. I didn't even know what the bear movement was at the time. And, but I love film. Well, you know, we have a place for you to stay. We're, we're sending you up to a commune that's up, a ro up the road called the uh, Total Loss Farm. What, what's a, what does that mean? What's a commune? Well, uh, in the 60s, way before you guys were ever born, a lot of hippies came to this area and they started opening kind of communal living situations where people would just live together and raise vegetables and live the alternative life. What's that supposed to mean? You can stay there for free, but you're, you're going to have to do some work. What is that supposed to mean? Well, there's, you know, there's a little farming chores and things like that, but... We're actually, we're actually experts at farming. Yeah. Are you? You've done some farming? Yes. Well, then you'll find this very easy. Rob is going to bring you up there, 
and uh, and then you're going to come down and present your film. We're all excited. I didn't get a chance to see it yet. I think you'll be really impressed. I think that um, it'll be the best film you've ever had. Welcome to the Total Loss Farm, home of cats, shacks, sheep, and pigs. Chris, what? I don't get this whole commune thing. You no, know, frankly. We arrived and we met a woman by the name of Veranda Porch. That's right. You heard me right. Veranda Porch. Veranda's um, a very interesting character, needless to say. Well, hi. <gasps> I'm Veranda. Uh, she's sort of a free spirit from the 60s. And so you're going to be staying here? We love a place to stay yeah. tonight. Okay, so you want to see where you're going to be staying? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Let's go. Okay, are you okay. ready? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay. Come on, come on. So here's a little plank bridge. You want to be careful here. Just goes over a ditch. Okay, a little springy. You okay? Emily? Hi. This is my daughter, Emily. Oh, hey. Emily and I have been scrubbing this place on our hands and knees. You see this, this moss that was growing here? These steps were dishearteningly slippery. Oh, and terrible. I was worried about you guys breaking an ankle. And so an we ankle. scrubbed. The deck. This is your humble abode. Oh my goodness. Wow. Here. It's kind of rustic. Yeah. Cute. <laughs> this, this can work. Ooh, it's sure. Isn't it, darling? Yeah. So then we returned back to the festival where things were starting to go on, but we knew we had to come incognito. We decided to sit down with the bears one on one and ask them the hard hitting questions that someone like Diane or Barbara might ask. <laughs> Hi. So when did you first know that you were a bear? I really didn't know I was a bear. I've always been bearish. I finally discovered that there were bears, there were hairy large men like myself, and that's when I joined a bear club. I actually knew about 30 years ago. It's probably been about three, three and a half years when I decided to go take a peek. We're actually so surprised to find it. I think that's why you get groups like this of bears together, because it's like, oh my god, we really do have men that look like us, and why not just have fun together because we do enjoy being around other large men like myself. So what does it mean to be a bear? I guess it uh, has a lot to do with, you know, the body type. You know. For me, it's about attitude. A bear, in this context, is a large man that's hairy or large or hairy and any combination thereof. Uh, and that you're gay. It's a laid back kind of attitude. They have daddy bears. They have polar bears. It isn't just about the look. It's part of what you are inside. I don't get it completely sometimes. What sort of activities do bears engage in? <gasps> Most of our gatherings, they, it revolves around food. Potlucks and meeting at restaurants and things like that. What sort of food do you enjoy eating? We like nibbling on other bears and a few other good things. How does one become a bear? The bear chooses you. It's not that you would really become one. You sort of are one. So now, are you out to your friends and family, and uh, what do they think of this? <laughs> no, I'm a bear. I don't think most of my family would understand if I tried. How would we become bears? You could put on weight, but if you're not hairy, then you probably... That would be part of the way of becoming a bear. If you want to fit in a little bit more, you probably need to really hit the uh, all-you-can-eat. Uh, can you grow facial hair? <laughs> are you attracted to us, the deers? That's correct. Now, are you attracted exclusively to other bears, or do you like other types of people, like us, the deers? I, no, I, I, have, I have no objection to men who are not bears, just bear chasers, you know, who happen to like hairy guys. What does it mean to be a chaser? A chaser means you're not actually a bear, but you find them really hot. You're, you're like a smooth, thin guy, basically. When I, I get around bears, I become like a... 13 year old girl. And what do you like to do with these bears? I love just to bear my face in a nice big patch of fur and just go for it. 